Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Well, it's morning right now. Who knows what time this will be posted or when you will be watching this, but good whatever time it is. We have an announcement. We have an announcement. Small announcement. Yeah. Tuesday is now our day. You will be seeing new videos out from us every Tuesday. We're getting on a little schedule for all of you. And we will also be going live every Tuesday night. What time exactly? We will figure that out. But we will be going live every Tuesday night and we will be posting a new YouTube video every Tuesday. So to start it off, if there are any new friends from YouTube, we just wanted to show you what we are all about. So we're gonna start off with a nice TikTok compilation. Mm -hmm in case anyone just has to catch up. Or if you just wanna scroll through our greatest hits. Also, you may see more than one video from us this week. Oh yeah. As something else might be happening. So stay tuned, be sure to subscribe and maybe even press the little notification button so you know when that announcement comes out, okay? Yeah. We love you. We love you and maybe I'll talk on the next video. Enjoy. One last time. Did you just flick my hand away from your hand? It just like registered like three seconds later. Why did you do that? You don't want the hydrangeas to see. They're homophobic, you know. That's why they're not blooming as well. They're spewing hate, so they're not blooming. That's how that works, by the way. If you spew hate, you don't bloom as a human. So you can tell when someone's unhappy and they're causing pain to someone else, you're just a flower who's not blooming and you're mad you're not blooming. But it's because you're mad at the other person. So stop being mad at the other person and focus on your blooming. Focus on your blooming. They're really not doing so well, actually. And it's because they're homophobic. Or the soil. They're being really annoying. I'm being really annoying? Oh, I'm watching one of my favorite movies. I'm not doing anything. You haven't even said anything to me today. I'm making my own coffee, which you'll probably take away from me. So I don't know what to tell you. Why do you think I'm being annoying? What's going on with you? It's not even 11 yet. We need to, we need to work on your communication skills. Is there a challenge where that, that comes up and we can do that for you? I'm being really annoying. Mm -hmm. Why am I being really annoying? lovely day outside. Do you want to go outside for a walk by yourself and process some things before you come talk to me and then tell me why I've been annoying and maybe I can be ready for that? I don't know how to help you help me help us, but I, okay, if you're pissed, if you think I'm being annoying, let that flow, acknowledge that, let it be, and then if after some time it's still there, we'll have like deeper conversation about it. Maybe you just need some food. Okay, so my boyfriend can really go on a tangent. So a bunch of you in the comments were saying, just say one word and see how much of a tangent he'll go on. Let's see. Thomas no. Jefferson's coming. No. Why are you saying no? Do you not like my singing? It's my, it's my Guatemalanness, right? My natural heat. I'm too primitive for you. Por qué me estás diciendo no? Why are you saying no to me, huh? I haven't asked for anything. I didn't even start a conversation with you. Why are you yelling no to me, huh? Powerful. Powerful words. What do you want from me? No, okay. No. Where did the no come from? Do you feel inspired to say no? It's good to say no. If you say yes too much, it's a little too people pleasery. I say yes all the time and then I go, wait, wait, wait. But saying no out of nowhere. No out of nowhere. Huh? Uh, wow. Where did that no come from? Nowhere. That's funny. That's good. No, I was just saying one word and seeing how much of a rant you could go on. Thanks, bud. Oh, I'm not actually that hungry. I thought you said you wanted breakfast. Do you mind if I eat it? Because I'll have it. Because right now it's getting cold. I'm going to eat it. Do you not want this? Or do you really not want this? I should have known. Should have gone with my instinct. Well, this is very good. So you're missing out. What's happening with you? See? It lost its toastness. Did you hear a crunch? And I can't put it back in the toaster because you can't toast preserves on top of that. But you wouldn't know that because you don't really ever cook. Which is not a bad thing. I appreciate that you don't know how to do that because I get to do that for you and that brings me some joy. It's the role I've assumed. I'd like a raise. You know, toast without its crunch is just not the same thing, but it's food and I appreciate it where it's at in its half bakedness, you know? You can have this last piece of toast with cream cheese, I know it's your favorite, but if I eat it and then you're like, oh, I'm hungry, I'm gonna be mad. It's giving you the opportunity now so that you don't ignore an impulse and it becomes a complaint later. Oh, there's some crunch. Warm. Are you warm? I'm 
very warm. Mm -hmm. Like warm enough to start sweating when I'm not ready to, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you feel soothed? I feel soothed. Soothing you. Okay. Good time for a segment of refreshment, no? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are we letting go? I know you're warm. I know you're getting warm, and it's warm in this apartment. Maybe some space. There we go. Ooh. Conduction. Mm -hmm. Conduction. Energy. In motion in our bodies. Making heat. Got like a little massage out of it. I'll be getting mine later. Where did you get those? So, uh, are you just wearing it for fun to give me a fashion show? Which would be fine, but I'd be, it'd be weird if you wore it and you didn't want something else to happen. Is that what you, is that what you want to do? Well, I wasn't expecting that, but I am, I just, I yoga it out. I'm looking out of my third eye. I got all my chakras aligned. So I am going with the flow on this one. So whatever you put down, I will pick up, uh, as long as it's not too heavy. Actually, heavier the better. Maybe we can do it like fast. Whatever you decide, either way, how about I just, I'm gonna take a shower, which will only take me like 15, 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna make a sandwich. And then maybe after that, I will, oh, but I do have to walk the dogs. So after shower, sandwich for lunch, because I'm starving, and then I'll walk the dogs. Will we still have, will, will this still be good to do, to go? Does that work? You wanna say an hour, an hour? Okay. That works. It's a date. Oh, oh, oh my God. Hello. Ooh, water is hot and I wasn't ready and you pushed me in too early. Hello. Uh, hold on. Okay, hello. What are you doing? Well, I wanted to say hi. Aw. Are you wearing clothes that are good for water? You don't have the waterproof clothes on? Uh-uh. Oh, did you know you were getting in the shower? Yeah. Okay, well, this is my shower. I was excited to have my peaceful shower, you know? Sort of like a meditation place for me. Right. But this is cool. This is new. You seem uncomfortable. Maybe this isn't the right place for you. I'm having fun. Are you? Uh huh. Okay. What is going on with you? I need to do soapy things. So as I put soapy things, that's gonna hit you. That cool? Actually, why am I worried about you? You're the one who walked in here. So what's up? Wanted to see you. Oh, you see me every day. Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. Get out! Get out! Hey, get out of here! I'm taking a shower. Hi. How was that, your food? It was really good. Oh, uh, if we had a dog, I could give this to the dog, but we don't. Ugh, and I just hate wasting food. Fine, I'm gonna eat it. Meh, I'm full. That's okay. Ian, you'll be fine. But it would be nice if we had the dog, because then I could, like, feed it the scraps. I got that from my mom. She was always like, we're not wasting any food. So you know what? Ian, eat it. Every time. Well, luckily I like doing dishes. I know so many people who like when they wake up, they have their ritual. It's like me with Nutella. Every six weeks, I have like a moment of like, ooh, I need to treat myself. I go to a bodega and I buy some Nutella and then I sit there and I eat it. And then I have this moment of like remorse. I throw it in the garbage. But dishes are also a ritual for people, you know? It's like that guy who taught karate in that movie, wax on. Wax off, wax on, wax off. And I think dishes are kind of like that too. Where did you go? Were you listening to my story? This time. What? Can I have this one? No, can you, I have give, it? Give that back. Can I have it? That's mine. Yeah, but can it just be mine now? Uh, no, because these can be yours. Give that back. But I want this one. I, well, that's the one I want. You know what, fine. Then I, you can't have any more of these. I'm gonna have all of them. Where are you going? To have them all in a nook. 